Once you have configured everything in the Automation Queue tab, which are outgoing messages from the server, you will need to click on the Trigger Queue tab located in the Macro Editor. Trigger queues are any signals or actions that are being received by the server. The Trigger Queue tab is broken out into two display windows. The left-hand side window is labeled Trigger, and the right-hand side window is labeled Action. Click on the green plus icon button located at the top left-hand side of the Trigger Queue tab window to add a new trigger. A trigger settings window will appear asking you to input the name of the new trigger. In this example, rename this new trigger, Fire Trigger. Click on the OK button. You will see the new trigger has been added to the section titled Trigger. Once you have added your new trigger, you will want to connect the trigger to an event by clicking the Connect to an Event button located at the bottom right hand side of the screen. An event window will appear. You will need to specify whether you are using a GPI, which is from our GPIO cable that was provided with the server or if you are using a signal from an Ethernet based device. In this example, we will click on the Signal button. Then a Signal Setup window will appear. From the Source Device Name drop-down, you will select the device name specific to your setup. In this example, we will select ECNA. Then you will need to either select the Signal Name from the drop-down, or you could click on the Signal Library Browse button. From the Driver window, we will select ECNA, then select Fire Stop from the Signal window, then click on the OK button. The Signal Setup window appears for you to validate your proper selections. Then click on the OK button. You will then see that your newly created trigger has an action associated with it. In the Sinlister application, you will associate the trigger with the automation, so that once the server receives a signal, that specific automation will occur. Now you will want to click the Save button located at the top left hand side of the screen to save the settings. You will be asked to input an administrative password to save the setting. See your system and administrator for this password and key it in. Then click on the OK button. To confirm your settings have been saved, click the Quit button located at the top right hand of the screen. Go to the Menu, Sinister, Editor tab. You should then see all the automation cues you created. If not, click the green Refresh button located at the top left hand side of the screen. Scroll down the Elements pane to confirm that your newly added fire trigger has been added to the trigger cues elements. That concludes our demonstration. Should you need any additional assistance, please contact our local technical support team. Thank you for watching.